Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the previous video, we have discussed what is normality. We have also discussed the formulas of normality. I have also discussed for preparation of normal solution of any solid substances. Always follow these three steps. In the previous videos, I have also discussed how we can find equivalent mass of metals, ions, salts, acids, bases, and oxidizing or reducing agents. Let's discuss in detail how we can find the equivalent mass of a base. For finding equivalent mass of base, divide molecular weight of base with its acidity where acidity is the number of replaceable hydroxide ions in base if you draw the structure of base or write the formula of base you can easily find out how many replaceable hydroxide ions are present in it for example for finding acidity of sodium hydroxide write its formula as you can see here, there is only one replaceable hydroxide ion present in it. Therefore, its acidity is 1. For finding equivalent mass of sodium hydroxide, divide 40 by 1. As 40 is molecular weight of sodium hydroxide, so the equivalent mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams. In this video we will learn in detail with examples the preparation of normal solution of bases. To prepare normal solution of any base, always follow these three steps. First of all find out the equivalent mass of base. As I mentioned earlier for finding equivalent mass of base, just divide molecular weight of base with its acidity where acidity is number of replaceable hydroxide ions in it. And for finding acidity, firstly draw the structure of base or simply write its formula. And note down how many replaceable hydroxide ions are present in it. Then, multiply the equivalent mass by required normality. Take the coming mass of base, Dissolve it in water and dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters. Let's discuss the preparation of 0.05 normal solution of sodium hydroxide. Let's do the calculation first. Firstly find out molecular weight of sodium hydroxide, which is 40 grams per mole. Then for finding acidity of sodium hydroxide draw its structure now note down number of replaceable hydroxide ions in it as there is only one replaceable hydroxide ion in sodium hydroxide so its acidity is one for finding equivalent mass of sodium hydroxide divide 40 by one so the answer is 40 grams now multiply 40 by 0.05 as we want to prepare 0.05 normal solution. The answer is 2 grams. Take 2 grams of sodium hydroxide. Dissolve it in water. And dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters. To perform the experiment. The apparatus required are. Beaker. Distilled water. Sodium hydroxide. Spatula. Stirrer measuring cylinder, measuring flask, filter paper, and funnel. First of all, turn the weight balance on. Now place the empty beaker on the weight balance. The weight balance display its weight. Now press the tear button. You can see that weight balance shows the weight of beaker as zero. Take 2 grams of sodium hydroxide in beaker. With the help of spatula. Take some water into measuring cylinder. Now transfer it into the beaker having 2 grams of sodium hydroxide. 
stir the solution with the help of specula. Continue stirring till all sodium hydroxide completely dissolve in water. Open the flask. Place the filter paper on funnel. Always use filter paper to remove impurities present in the solution. Now add sodium hydroxide solution in it. Add more water if necessary. To fill the solution up to the mark. Store the solution for further use. This will be 0.05 normal solution of sodium hydroxide. To prepare 0.1 normal solution of calcium hydroxide. Firstly find out molecular weight of calcium hydroxide. Which is 74 grams per mole. Then for finding acidity of calcium hydroxide draw its structure. Now note down number of replaceable hydroxide ions in it. As there are two replaceable hydroxide ion in calcium hydroxide. So its acidity is 2. For finding equivalent mass of calcium hydroxide. Divide 74 by 2. So the answer is 37 grams. Now multiply 37 by 0.1 as we want to prepare 0.1 normal solution. The answer is 3.7 grams. Take 3.7 grams of calcium hydroxide. Dissolve it in water. And dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters. This will be 0.1 normal solution of calcium hydroxide. To prepare 0.2 normal solution of aluminium hydroxide. Firstly find out molecular weight of aluminium hydroxide. Which is 78 grams per mole. Then for finding acidity of aluminium hydroxide draw its structure. Now note down number of replaceable hydroxide ions in it. As there are three replaceable hydroxide ion in aluminium hydroxide. So its acidity is 3. For finding equivalent mass of aluminium hydroxide. Divide 78 by 3. So the answer is 26 grams. Now multiply 26 by 0.2. As we want to prepare 0.2 normal solution. The answer is 5.2 grams. Take 5.2 grams of aluminium hydroxide. Dissolve it in water. And dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters. This will be 0.2 normal solution of aluminium hydroxide. To prepare 0.04 normal solution of potassium hydroxide. Firstly find out molecular weight of potassium hydroxide. Which is 56 grams per mole. Then for finding acidity of potassium hydroxide draw its structure. Now note down number of replaceable hydroxide ions in it. As there is only one replaceable hydroxide ion in potassium hydroxide. So its acidity is 1. For finding equivalent mass of potassium hydroxide. Divide 56 by 1. So the answer is 56 grams. Now multiply 56 by 0.04. As we want to prepare 0.04 normal solution. The answer is 2.24 grams. Take 2.24 grams of potassium hydroxide. Dissolve it in water. And dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters. This will be 0.04 normal solution of potassium hydroxide. Let's summarize the preparation of normal solution of bases. H to prepare normal solution of any base. Always follow these three steps. First of all find out the equivalent mass of base. As I mentioned earlier for finding equivalent mass of base. Just divide molecular weight of base with its acidity. Where acidity is number of replaceable hydroxide ions in it. And for finding acidity. 
Firstly draw the structure of base or simply write its formula. And note down how many replaceable hydroxide ions are present in it. Then, multiply the equivalent mass by required normality. Take the coming mass of base, dissolve it in water and dilute the solution up to 1000 milliliters. Hopefully, after seeing this video you can prepare normal solution of any base. In the next video I will discuss the preparation of normal solution of oxidizing or reducing agents. Till then, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.